very good evening everybody meeting again in the session of materia medica and we are discussing the remedies from third year syllabus and all remedies are of practical value today we'll going to learn one more remedy which is very depicting in fact having action on many systems but specifically on the nervous system more strongly and is useful in many neurological conditions the name of the remedy is agaricus muscarius it's a mushroom it's a poisonous mushroom with red cap red head and it produces its toxic effects many times all the toxic effects ultimately are the poisonous effects affects more commonly the nervous system and you get the same presentation in the proving also so this remedy is a very important remedy specifically when the problems are related with the nervous system or when the problems are related with the spine ultimately with the locomotor system because of the spine it has a significant value i have used it two three times very commonly basically there was one patient who had very severe joint pains and his rheumatism was very specific he was just young fellow nearly about 25 26 years of age suffering from the rheumatism it was early in his life it started nearly about 1 years before that he was on allopathic treatment and was not getting the result and i took his history and he has shown his left shoulder is totally swollen and right knee is swollen so it was early in my practice but i was lucky enough that alan's keynotes was good with me i was very very much familiar with alan's keynotes right from start of my practice there were other features also but specifically this diagonal affection was very specific with that patient it was left shoulder and right knee which was involved and having swelling over there and he was having severe pain over there already suppressed with lot of medication allopathic medication painkillers then steroids but it was just having palliative effect with the diagno diagonal affections and rheumatisms i have considered it might be agaricus because early in practice i was knowing agaricus more commonly and this diagonal affection left upper right lower this this i was knowing it this is the agaricus so i have directly started him on agaricus 200 few doses of agaricus 200 for 2 3 days followed by by combination 19 and within span of 15 days when he reached again for follow up 10 to 15 doses the swelling has reduced much nearly about 70% swelling was reduced then i was i have observed that case nearly about a period of 6 months to year and he was completely recovered with the help of agaricus in fact it was prescription based upon only one specific symptom but still remedy matched very well and it worked actually there are many more remedies you have a di in diagonal affection but left upper right lower is agaricus there are many more even antim tart is there there is a stramonium is another remedy which you can use in some similar types of condition but i was lucky enough that that remedy matched with that case second important case which was very 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 nice case for me to treat it was having little bit symptoms of multiple sclerosis along with a spinal irritation and through and through the spine was very sensitive she was a lady nearly about 20 21 years of age and she used to get very severe pain right from the neck to the lumbar region 
and she was diagnosed as a case of multiple sclerosis of and on on steroids and whenever she used to stand the pains were very severe very sore pains since a uh, tingling type of pains there is numbness there is a twitching of the muscles and she was not able to stand even though in rest position the pains were not disappearing and it was more concentrated in lumbar and sacral region in her case and she was in fear that what what will be the what will be the future she was little bit depressed because of it so again i considered this is the remedy agaricus having very sensitive spines sclerosis of the nervous system is very important indication of the agaricus so i put her on agaricus in in her case i have utilized agaricus in lm scale i have repeated agaricus for at least a month and later on she gradually uh, developed in her all pro all her problems settled and she developed a strength in lower extremity she was able to work she was a student of engineering and she used to re remain over there in pune at that time so it was very difficult uh, before treatment for her to remain over there and continue with it many times she used to remain at her house in sangamner but after the treatment she recovered so nicely with agaricus i have used nearly about agaricus lm 11 and she recovered nicely in future and third case was a case of facial twitching facial neuralgia in fact left sided facial neuralgia and there was a tick and tick was very typical that it looks like a blinking of left eye and it looks odd because whenever she used to go to in company it used to get aggravated and it was looking like that like that this this was continuous and being an young lady it was found to be a very embarrassing situation for her people were considering it in other way so such types of tics are always dangerous same thing happened with her she was very much confused embarrassed and what to do and what not to do problem was there and it was not getting settled with them any allopathic medicine temporarily she was better with the carbamazepine but pain settled but twitching never not disappearing and it was tremendous over there so left sided affection left facial twitching left facial neuralgia i have considered again the agaricus muscarius agaricus in one impotency three doses followed by a caliphosphoricum 6x made that patient a wonderful recovery within span of 2 months 3 months it was completely vanished and she recovered so nicely it was again a good case where agaricus worked so see all three cases where you have very specific action of it on the nervous system and it has its significance this remedy one must learn from from its all symptoms it is a very good remedy after the alcoholism the bad effects of alcoholism when patient goes into the delirium state or delirium tremens this remedy is a wonderful remedy then during withdrawal case when twitching happens trembling happens this is a wonderful remedy to be utilized for such types of cases so we'll going to learn it from the allen's keynotes open your allen's keynotes and let us see what he says about the agaricus muscarius it is towards to fungi group persons with light hair skin and muscles are lax laxity of muscle is one important thing the tone is lost in agaricus again nervous symptom old people with weak and indolent circulation the circulation is slow they are slow in action they are weak they don't have strength the muscles are weak they are relaxed or laxed and that's why they are not able to go fast or run fast or actively work fast 
drunkards specially for their headaches see this is very important remedy for the drunkards who have headaches bad effects after a debauch so this is debauch is vabijari vab so durvartan karne something doing such alcoholism taking drugs etc lobelia naxomica ranunculus bulbosa these are three remedies which are mentioned for it it is agaricus is one important remedy and if after withdrawal if there is a twitching if there is a convulsion if there is a chorea the involuntary movements this is the remedy one should think of so alcohol withdrawal drugs withdrawal this remedy works beautifully <coughs> sorry delirium delirium with constant raving raving means barana to talk without knowing what he is talking with constant raving tries to get out of the bed specifically delirium in typhoid and typhus like baptisia in baptisia also there is a delirious state and patient who doesn't know what he is doing specifically in typhoid typhus stages stages headaches headaches of those who really become delirious in fever headaches with pain like belladonna headaches of person subject to chorea twitching or grimaces grimaces manje chehra cha vera vakila dakhavla sarka it looks like this grimaces making grimaces headaches from spinal affection this is very important headache from spinal affection spine is so sensitive in agaricus it is too sensitive spine and that's why these two sensitive spine always creates a lot of problems headache is one of them then it is a very good remedy for the crossed bite wonderful remedy for crossed bite where the severe pain is there in joints or in t toes when keeping in cold this is wonderful remedy and along with chilblains so chilblains that each and burn while intolerably frost bite and all consequences of exposure to cold especially in the face so it has a problem in the face as well as in hands and toes so fingers and toes gets affected with the chilblains chilblains are nothing but the eruptions reddish eruptions erysipelatous in eruption which due to the due to the um, exposure to this very severe cold icy cold that those are the chilblains involuntary movements while awake seized during sleep very very important feature there are involuntary movements involuntary chorea is there twitching of the muscles is there the tics are there but they are always there only during the day time whenever the patient is awake whenever patient sleeps it totally gets vanished so amelioration during sleep is one of the important entity there is chorea from simple motions and jerks of single muscles to the dancing of the whole body so muscles twitch here and here and there that is very important feature of this remedy it is a good remedy for motor neuron disease where again the fasciculations are there one must consider this remedy trembling of whole body twitching of muscles of face is migel another remedy for the uh, facial neuralgia or facial tics facial twitchings jinkum met is another remedy and these are very close over the tarantula is another remedy which, where you can get such types of future sensation as if ice touched or ice cold needles were piercing the skin as if hot needles so there is sensation either ice cold needles or hot needles are piercing the skin that sensation is very typical and that sensation runs through and through patient talks in that sense patient talks in such sense doctor mala koni tari garam needle tochte kiwa thand needle tochte asa sensation that is very typical in marathi they talks like this that is very typical kuch to bhi chupta hai 
गरम चुपता है ठंडा चुपता है बट दैट इज अडल हॉट नीडल सेंसेशन और कोल्ड नीडल सेंसेशन है बर्निंग इचिंग रेडनेस ऑफ वेरियस पार्ट इयर्स नोज फेस हैंड्स फीट पार्ट रेड सोलन एंड हॉट एंड दैट इज वेरी टिपिकल ऑफ द स्किन एफेक्शन it might be over the joints near the joints near, in the hands feet it might be on the nose it might be on the ears it might be on the face so everywhere the eruptions they are itching they are red they are um, there is burning severe and it becomes hot uncertainty in walking and stumbles over everything in the way walking is uncertain they cannot walk cleanly many times they stumbles they sometimes looks like having imbalanced sensation feels pain as if beaten when standing someone as if beaten someone have beaten them that type of pain is there over there especially standing is the aggravate it aggravates more spine is sensitive to touch like theridion sensitivity is very close to the theridion but theridion the sensitivity is to all thing theridion the sensitivity to noise is more marked it enters inside the bones theridion it is like a srm where the sense and they are very sensitive to the noise and it penetrates through and through both remedies the theridion and the srm having the sensitivity noise here the spine is sensitive worse in the morning morning aggravation is another characteristic of this remedy all complaints when whenever patient wakes awakes in the morning the all complaints gets aggravated pains are sore aching aching manje rag lagna aching is in marathi rag lagna sore sore jase kai mukka mar lagla it is as if a blunt trauma has been there pain in lumbar and sacral regions so pain is there in the lumbar region sacral region pain during exertion in the day time so after exertion after standing in the morning in the day time all the pains gets aggravated specifically when they are related with the lumbo sacral region pains are aggravated while sitting like gincum metallicum it gets aggravated whenever patient sits it gets aggravated whenever patient stands it gets aggravated so spine is whole spine is sensitive and sensation is very typical as if someone is putting a hot or cold needles piercing the skin spinal irritation due to the sexual excess coition aggravates that is very typical with this agaricus so all spinal complaints are aggravated after sexual relations like caliposporicum caliposporicum is also very sensitive remedy it is also having the similar types of sensitivity it is again having a nervous diathesis like agaricus they are very sensitive calipos is a good tranquilizer it supports your treatment many a times in such types of cases if you have such types of cases like motor neuron disease or multiple sclerosis along with whatever remedy you can add caliphosporicum wonderful remedy to control such things in 6x potency nervous prostration after sexual debauches so that is after sexual excesses nervous prostration prostration means exhaustion takwa nervous prostration it is the prostration of nerves nervous means nerves around about the nerves nerves gets exhausted and that's why the exhaustion is followed by sexual debauches like phosphoric acid epilepsy from suppressed eruptions gingham mate very important remedy soranum sulfur but gingham is very strongly if the epilepsy is from suppressed eruption there is meningitis or encephalitis subserosal pan encephalitis gingham it is very important remedy suppressed skin eruption lead directly towards the brain every motion every turn of the body causes pain in the spine spine is so sensitive every movement it gets aggravated single vertebra is sensitive to touch 
So a single vertebra is there and which is very sensitive to touch gets affected. So see, site of action, nervous system, the spine, the nerves, and the nervous prostration, the typical tingling sensation, needle-like sensation. Rectal complaints, prolapses, post-climactric. Uh, these are um, female complaints specifically. Prolapse of uterus, vaginal wall, post-climactric. Bearing down pains, almost intolerable. Here you have to compare three important remedies. Out of them, two, were, two are from the fish, the sepia, the murex, the lilium tigrinum. So, where, everywhere you will get the prolapse, uterus, uterine prolapse. Sepia and murex, both of them are very sensitive and that's why they are always sits in crossing the legs. There is so severe bearing down sensation. But there is a difference. Murex is, there is excessive sexual desire. In sepia, the sexual desire is absolutely not there. There is aversion to sex, aversion to boys. So, you can differentiate remedies on the basis of their specific general indications. Extremely sensitive to cold air. Agaricus are very, very sensitive to cold. That's why the frostbite is there. That's why the chillblains are there. Like calcarea, like calica, like sorinum. Sorinum is the most chilly remedy from your matramedica. Clumplains appear diagonally, upper left, lower right side, and team tart, the stramonium. These are two another remedies. Having the same combination, left, upper, right, lower. Exactly opposite, right, upper and lower, left. Embra, there is bromium, there is medhorinum, there is phosphorus and there is sulfuric acid. So, you, you get in generality chapter in the repertory, diagonal affections. And you get all those remedies. There is big list of remedies now. Relationship similar to actia. That is Actia racemosa, then the calendula, uh, sorry, calcarea, it is cannabis indica, it is hyosamus, it is caliposporicum, it is lachesis, the naxomica, the opium, the stramonium, specifically for delirious states, delirium of alcoholism, you can compare this remedy. Then to the migale, then tarantula, to the jinkum, specifically in Korea, you can compare these remedies. Because all those remedies are having very specific action on nervous system. Then the last concluding part is the general modalities. And in general modalities, the aggravation after eating, aggravation after coition, aggravation after the cold air, cold touch, mental application, means worked too much mental exertion. Aggravation before a thunderstorm. Here it comes closer to the phosphorus, closer to the sorinum. So these are very important aggravation modalities of agaricus muscarius. My suggestion to all of you, go through this remedy from different books. You will get a different picture in Borix Matra Medica. It is very nicely elaborated over there. The direct action, what is the direct action of this poison on the body? The stages are explained by Bori. Go through that so you understand the depth of action of the agaricus muscarius. So this is the remedy one must learn. One must learn from different books. But my suggestion to all of you, open the Borix Matra Medica and go through the first part of it, which will guide you so much regarding the understanding direct action of the agaricus muscarius on the body. This is the remedy which has 40 days of action. A big deep acting remedy. And that's why we have to study it in detail. Many nerve conditions, motor neuron disease, multiple sclerosis, the spinal affections, even spinal canal stenosis many times. This remedy do a wonderful work. Even it has a vascular action also. So, Reynolds disease is one of the diseases which you can think of the agaricus muscarius in such types of cases. So, one must understand the remedy and its depth, where it can touch, which parts it can touch, which system it can touch, and then it becomes quite easy to understand. So, that's all regarding the agaricus muscarius. We have finished this wonderful remedy. Tomorrow, we'll continue with another remedy from the third year syllabus. 
and we will continue with all those things so that you can get acquainted with all those remedies. So thank, thanks for this session and thank you. There are many people, seniors as well as juniors who are there in this session. If you have any query, we can have a chat. Otherwise, we will continue. So we'll conclude the session. We'll meet tomorrow again with both sessions. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, sir. Good night. Good night.